Hi, my name is Sean Mabry, I'm a writer, and today I'll be talking about test number three in Elaine Ash's bestseller metrics, which I just completed a moment ago on my manuscript. Uh, first, though, I want to address the fact that I am probably the most bestial looking that I've ever been on one of these videos. Uh, I did not shave this morning, and in fact, I only shave two, you know, one or two out of every three mornings because my facial hair doesn't grow that fast. It's pretty patchy and short and scraggly, so um, I, I apologize if it's reached an offensive level here. I think I'm just at the cusp of the problem area, but um, hopefully that'll, that'll be uh, good for this video. And uh, let's dive into that test. So test number three is where Elaine has you go through the two middle quarters of your manuscript and count all of the new characters there. So these are characters that have not appeared in the first quarter and are disappearing for the first time in your second and third quarters. And I did the test and ended up with uh, 88 total. That's 88 total characters in quarters two and three. So the uh, next sheet of this test um, basically just walks you through some questions to help you evaluate this uh, exercise. Um, first, you, she has a table where she lists the um, you know, all four quarter breakdown of the books that she studied for this um, for this system. And uh, the good news is that one of them was a fantasy book that had almost the exact same breakdown that I had in terms of first quarter, second and third quarters, and fourth quarter. So I figured, hey, that's good news, I'm writing in fantasy. And as she mentions a few times throughout the book, fantasy is a little bit different. On, on fantasy, you, you basically have a much higher threshold for a character count. Um, so with that in mind, I'm up on the upper edge. Um, funnily enough, I wasn't so far out of the range, or I should say so far up the range when it came to my middle quarters. My middle quarters were, were comparatively tame in terms of new characters. Um, so that might be something worth thinking about on my own later. But uh, really the next three questions he walks you through are really to help you um, identify your core cast and make sure that they are getting enough exposure and enough development through those second and third quarters, uh, which I think is an interesting and useful test because I've read a few books on structure that say that the middle quarters are where you want actually to have a B story, which you know, can involve the main cast, but maybe doesn't involve the main cast at all, um, or only lightly involves the main cast. And you know, usually the point of a B story is to carry through kind of the story chasm that forms between the opening exposition and the big climactic finale. And I, of course, have a B story. I actually have a few B stories, kind of short episodic B stories to, to bridge that gap in my manuscript. Um, as far as I can tell, they all flow to together pretty well. I do introduce some new characters that get, that I wouldn't say become a new main cast, but they, they definitely become an important little trio in their own right. And um, there's one scene in particular where the, the, the spotlight kind of shifts onto them away from my main characters because my main characters are, are watching off on the sidelines. Um, and as I put in one of my answers, I think that'll actually give the readers a nice break because we've been following, you know, almost the rest of the entire book is tightly, tightly focused on those main three. So having a break where we get to know these other characters, get to watch them in a battle scene, you know, um, I'm hoping gives a, a nice little pause there so we don't get tired of the main three. I don't know how, I don't know how you could, I love them. But uh, this was a, a very useful test. And uh, one more thing I wanted to mention before I end this video is that uh, Elaine... Um, in addition to the, the book, which I'll link below, like I always do. Um, she also has a live workshop coming up this Sunday in Culver City. No, excuse, scratch that. Um, in, I'll have to check. I don't remember the city off the top of my head, but it's in LA. It's in the LA area. It might actually be Culver City. But basically, it's a live workshop. She's going to be walking through the principles of uh, bestseller metrics. It'll be a great chance to speak with her one-on-one -on -one if you have any particular questions. Um, if you have the book already and you would like a more in-depth answer to something that appears in the book, this is a great chance to ask her. Um, and of course, a good chance to meet some other really exciting, interesting writers like me, because I'll be there. And uh, yeah, so I will link to that as well below. And I just want to let you know that uh, we're somewhere within the last 48-ish hours. Um, very close to the deadline to get that early bird pricing for this event. So if you are interested, I recommend you get the ticket now because there will be a, a, a price bump if you come and buy a ticket on site. So go ahead and check that out and feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe on this video. And I will see you probably next week because it is Friday and it would be very tough to get a video again that soon. Bye.